So tell us about the first of all the the, the core benefits of autonomous mm-hmm. dev and what kind of feedback you have received from the the developer community. Oracle would all, will automatically do all the management monitoring uh, of that database for you. So we'll secure it, patch it, back it up, do all of that. So really, all it requires a developer to do is provision, ask for what resources they need. So that's in terms of CPU and storage capacity, and we take care of everything else. Then they can instantly begin loading data and start working on the actual application itself and stop worrying about where that data is being stored or how it's being stored. And with the autonomous database, of course, you get Oracle's converged or multi-model database, whichever term you prefer. So you can store both structured and unstructured data in there and query them uh, together in the same or as separate parts of your application. So developers absolutely love it. The fact that they can shortcut IT, not have to wait for infrastructure to be provisioned on their behalf, for DBAs to set up a database, the fact that it will automatically tune itself. So as they develop that application, the autonomous database will automatically start helping them by tuning the schema, creating any missing indexes that they've forgotten to speed up queries. So from the developer's perspective, they love it. And one of the recent enhancements we did for autonomous was based on developer feedback. So a lot of the developers in our community like to use Apex, which is Oracle's web-based, low-code development environment. And so now when you provision your autonomous database, right there on the console is a link that'll take you straight into Apex. So you can start developing and behind the scenes, we'll take care of all the connectivity to that database. You build your application in Apex and you can instantly deploy it on the autonomous database. So that's been a huge advantage for them. We also supply Zeppelin notebooks as part of the autonomous database. And again, for the more data scientist members of our development community, that's been a huge advantage for them because as soon as the database is deployed, they can begin to start working on their new projects. Uh-huh. So do you think that you know, automating, you know, putting everything on autopilot is the, the kind of natural evolution of software development process? Because there are a lot of time developers sys admins waste on Monday's task. They should, mm-hmm. they should invest their time on adding business value to the application. No, I think you're exactly right. I think what we're doing with this introduction of automation and the autonomous Linux is just kind of the next step in this, where we're taking that same strategy of taking over the kind of boring and mundane tasks of managing and securing the platform and allowing the developers and the, and the DBAs and even the sysadmins to actually work on innovating faster, saying yes to more projects for the business and then being able to deliver those projects faster, more secure, more performant than they were able to do and it was all manually handcrafted in order to develop it. So yeah, I think it's, it's definitely the future and I think just like other automations that we've adopted in our lives, uh, at first we'll be a little hesitant about it and with that, very soon I think we'll all just take it for granted that of course the database is going to do that automatically for me um, and it will just help us just switch into those more kind of high level activities where we're able to bring more value to the business. 